Hey, I'm making the video on why you should not move to Florida. And since you're still down in Tampa, we was wondering if you can like tell the audience of your reasons not to move here. Right, it's a retired state. So, yeah, like there's there is shit to do with that, like really. Nothing to do with play croquet. Yeah, it's so like you're tired of rich people that own the farms and come out, you know. The snowbirds, you know, just yeah. from like up northeast. Pretty much. Are you near the phone? Because 'Cause I'm having a hard time hearing you. Oh, well, I'm having a hard time hearing. You can't, uh, okay, I'm just saying, uh, how about now? Yeah, I hear you much better now. Yeah? But yeah, tell them about, like, the same reason I don't live there, like, the fucking police pull, like, calling you up for, like, playing on the streets in the harbor. It's crazy, man, like, you, you know, you, you playing drums, you playing music for people, you know, people are loving it, you know, vibing with it. Right. You know, you're, you, know, you make you make somebody's day, you know, put a smile on somebody's face, and, and then all of a sudden you get like three officers. You get three workers, three and two officers, like wait, like five fucking guys. What? What do you mean by at you. What do you mean by three workers? You know the guys that are working at, 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 at like the building that was next to there. Oh. Um, Okay. Like supposedly it was like part of that property, but it was basically like on the waterfront, you know. That's public and prop, but that's public property. Exactly. Yeah, but like you know, they obviously bored, you know, so no things to do. Right. That's how it was when I was in South Beach in 2021. Like I was trying to scrap up some money, and I was playing in front of like. 200 people which could feel like a thousand if you have stage fright and like black chicks were dancing around flashing their tits at me and everybody was vibing having a good time and out of nowhere two or three cops came up to me and said hey you have to leave this is city property and i almost said to them hey this is america fuck off right this is america property yeah yeah know, they you know came through with me with like hands on their gun like whoa like, Right. Just playing an instrument, like like they 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 they're looking at me like a killer, like ready to draw. I'm like, bro, shoot, just shoot me, bro. Like I, I literally told the guy, listen, just shoot me. It's like he looked like like he's ready to shoot me, like ready to draw. I'm like, bro, this is ridiculous, man. Like, and I I and I you know I said like I just burst the fuck out of that, you know, just. Like told him straight up, he, he he didn't say shit. They were like really all bitches, man. Like they they almost like you could see the the look on their face was like they didn't exist. Like they're just like you know sheeple, just right? Totally no compassion, no soul, no energy. Just just like robotic. Like okay, this guy's playing. You gotta get rid of him. like right. And, Oh yeah, dude. Dude, I remember we were, dude. Weren't we like so loud that people who came over said they can hear us like a quarter mile away? Right, right, right. Yeah. Like, I think we were like three thirty or something. And like, no, no cops were ever called. Dude, that was the thing that shocked me the most. That's what shocked me the most. Like, we were playing under that bridge in the public garden by the water, which likely echoed the sound more. And I was surprised right. no cop came right. out. Like, exactly. but so, yeah, so, so crazy, another thing about, I noticed in Florida is that there's a lot of snotty rich people who think they're better than everybody. Yeah, man, it's just like in the air, like, it's just this, uh, this kind of like condescending vibe. Yeah, I have like, people. it's and in, it, it, it's such a shame because like, you know, the weather is top notch. And oh yeah. Yep. Like looking like down on you. Yeah. Because, you know, you're not wearing like loafers or something or like... Yeah, that's how... Belt. That's how it was in... <laughs> that, when I was in Clearwater back in 2021 
and you see a lot of like bikini babes posing for probably only fans and they give you that look like ew this kid's here or all the people out there in like their little dillard's polos and sandal shoes look at you like get out of here you disgusting filthy person like you disgusting yeah, tour like Right. People for some reason, and you know, unfortunately, you know, we gotta just live like with that because that's that's kind of the reality here. It's like they 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 they're here. Right. And that they they they're not really like contributing to like you know arts or um anything really interesting. It's always like. They're, they're just got money to waste on themselves, go to some restaurant, throw yep. like a few thousand every night. Right. Um, just like, you know, being their own thing. It's like, man, that kind of, this kind of fucking gets boring after a while, no? Yeah, that's another thing I want to talk about with Florida. It gets boring once you're done vacationing. Like, when I lived in Miami, I mean, yeah, it was cool being on South Beach with all the colorful buildings and shit. But, like, after about two weeks, it got really, really boring. Like, um, the people were just, just felt like they weren't real. It's full of tourists, so you don't really meet a whole lot of yeah. locals. It, you know, you, you actually really hit the spot on that two-week mark. Yeah, you know, like... That, that two-week mark is, like, on the money. That's how uh, it is, like... It, it, like, for some reason, once you hit, like, two weeks, you're just like, fuck this shit. That's how it was when I moved uh, there, like... I ha now I haven't been to Clearwater. I haven't really been hanging around Palm Beach in a couple years, but even yeah. Palm Beach even Palm Beach County had that yeah. vibe. Like it, it's such a shame because, you know It's a beautiful it's a nice state. Beaches, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful and, uh, state, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like the, the people uh, too, like when you get more south are super white trash. Typical northern Florida's typical white trash for sure. Yeah, it's so like I really I have white dude, trash like I yeah mean. I have family who live like in the center of Florida, and there was a day my brakes weren't working properly, so I couldn't stop. Right, I was going thirty on that dirt road where my they live, and one of their neighbors literally came out screaming at me, "Hey!" And I was like, "I'm sorry, I literally cannot stop unless the brakes screech like crazy." And I they, literally had some guy they're like stop, stop like because I was literally the only car in probably like a mile radius. Right. And he fucking he, like I, I, I he expected me to fully stop at a stop sign that he's not even crossing. There's no cars. Right. He's like the only guy in the street, pissed off old guy walking his dog. Sounds like stop, stop, stop right there. Yeah, like the thing stop I right noticed. Uh, I, 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 like, bro, like I, I literally looked at him and laughed my ass off. Yep. Uh, like this guy, this guy's like living some weird, weird reality where he, you know, he he was probably like a military fucking douchebag. Oh, dude. And he's like used to giving orders. That's actually another thing. Oh yeah. There's so many fucking retired military. Dude, I got nothing against, like, you know, my dad is, you know, right. but, like, they, they're fucking nuts, man. Oh, dude. How do you <laughs> think, dude? I, I was, dude, I was, I grew up in Jacksonville in, like, my early childhood. That's the only way we could be able to afford it was being in the Navy. We lived, like, 15 minutes off Jacksonville Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, dude, like, nothing against those guys. Yeah. But they're fucking nuts. No, like, they are. They, they inject them. First of all, they inject them with a bunch of shots when they get it. And all that stuff probably starts ranking up and, and, as long as you go. Because a lot of those guys have, like, anger issues. Oh, definitely. And, and like, PTSD. Yep. And... Like, that's kind of, like, what, what I feel happens. It I'm does. Just, like, literally driving. Like, stop, stop, stop right there, stop right there, stop right there. Oh, yeah. Like, bro, I, bro, I slowed down. Like, I see it. Like, there's nobody fucking here besides you. Like, uh, in this whole neighborhood. So yeah. So, kind of fucked out. Like... Dude, when I was in San Diego, dude, in San Diego, they have, like, all the military branches. Oh. Navy, Marines, Army, Air Force, you name it, Coast Guard. 
but it's so laid back in San Diego compared to Florida. Like, for some reason, the military in San Diego, dude, they're laid back as shit. Except for the Marines. Those guys were assholes. But that's another story. Yeah, I think it's like where they're stationed. So it, it, it depends on like what kind of shots they give them, you know, and what they feed them and stuff. Uh, what do you mean by shots? Because I had a family member in the Navy, and they never had shots. Well, usually when now, I'm, I, 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 I know for sure that there's like certain places where they, they just shoot them up with like vaccine type stuff that they uh, claim is vaccine. Not- that must be new because. <laughs> no, they've been doing it. Okay, they because. Don't talk about it. Like, they just don't talk about that openly. Weird they, because. They've been doing it, bro. Yeah. Well, anyway, another reason you shouldn't move there is because of the hot ass summers, dude. You ever been in the summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking sucks. Yeah, the humidity sucks. Dude, uh, I, re- dude I remember when I came out of my apartment in Miami in like July and August. It would be 98 degrees, full humidity at 10 a.m. with the sun right at your face. You can see the humidity pixels in the air at 10 in the yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the other thing with the sun. Like, you know, when you're in New York and shit, and, you know, you don't get sun during the winter, it's awful. Oh, yeah. the new. And, I... and then once you get it here, like, for that like, period, like a week, two weeks, yeah. you're just like, okay, you got it to here. Like, okay, now what? Yeah, uh, that's like just, just like this. There ain't shit to fucking do here. Like, yeah, yeah. Once you go to the beach, once everyone goes to the beach, sun goes down. It's like okay, now what? Like, there's nothing happening besides restaurants and bars. Yeah, and that's... you already know that scene. Like, I'm pretty sure you already, you know. Yeah, when I was about in, how that's just like a dead industry, and it's so repetitive. It's like the same shit every fucking day. Pretty how much. How many times can you do it? Yeah, I was in South Beach at like 4 a.m. and nothing was really going on, but I picked up a Cuban chick who well gave me some nice head. And I was like, but every night that would get boring as shit. You, you, you get a fucking head from the same girl gets boring. Like, oh, you, definitely. Like, you know, imagine, like, just that same uh, thing. Okay, wake up, blah, 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 do your thing. Beach. Beach, 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 restaurant. Like, there's no depth. Like, in, in, in New York, okay, as far as New York is a shithole. Oh, now, definitely. You know, and it's like, it, it, it's, 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 it's like not what it used to be. Your day would be different every single day. You, you, you see some crazy shit. Like, you just get on the subway in the morning go to work. You see some crazy shit. Oh, like, I believe you, you would, it. You, like, see the insane stuff. Just you just walking around, like, on your break. Yeah. All kinds of, like, every day was, like, vastly different and entertaining. That's how it was up in Cincinnati. Um, That's how it was in Cincinnati, too. Like, you would see something different every hour. But I've noticed lately it hasn't really been like that. It's kind of like that with Florida, you know? Like, every day was kind of the same. It's more so, like, a retired community and a bunch of tourists. Right, and the tourists are the same fucking European, you know, families with their mouths wide open. Yep. They're walking down, staring the fuck out of you, like, just not saying a word, just, just staring at you. Like, you're, you're yeah. just saying... Right, they're just staring at you, like... Like, they've never seen, uh, like, a person with a beard or, like, I guess or something like that. They're just, like, staring. Like, that's, like, a weird, like, another thing here for some reason. They yeah. would just stare the fuck at you. Oh, and yeah. I've come to realize, like, I don't think it's just, yeah, I think it's just people are so fucking bored that they're just, like, looking for something to happen. Right. Like, they're just, like... Okay, can something happen now? Because there's nothing happening. Like, there's... Dude, that, dude, that's how it was when I was in Miami Beach. I was like, okay, it's the same shit on South Beach every time I'm there. How about I spark it up a bit and play some guitar on South Beach? And everyone was like, sweet, a street performer. Yeah, woo! Girls flashing their titties and twerking their ass and handing in like 20 and fives. But then the cops show up and say, sorry, this is city property. You have to leave. It's like, what kind of horse shit is that? Everybody was loving my music. Most of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what just happened to me. And, 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 and what's crazy, too, is they trespassed me, too. They, so they, they're like, you will trespass from all this property. If you go come here again, you will be arrested. I'm like, bro, I'm not even from here, dude. 
like I don't give a fuck. Uh, but he, like that's the thing. Like they 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 really try to put you down here. Oh yeah. Uh, um. I I've. Every I keep hearing about how Florida is the freest state in America. Hi, we've been open for business since the dawn of time. People are moving here all the time. Mostly the rich and greedy move there. Every time I look for an apartment, I was rejected 30 times in the entire state. Clearwater, Palm Beach, Miami, Jacksonville, Ocala. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. Those apartments are jack shit. They dude, suck. dude. Dude, so I was at this apartment in West Palm Beach that was near the suburbs in the urban, like a 15-minute bike ride downtown and 20-minute bike ride to the beach, right? $1,200 steel deal, right? The landlord was a dick. Dude, the landlord was acting like he's better than all of his tenants, and he said things like, I invest in crypto. I don't have to work here anymore. And I was like, yeah, that's why you're still a landlord, right? You rely on rent income instead of crypto. Whatever. Just show me the tour, okay? And he's like, I got tenants who trash the place and leave. Is that going to be you? I'm like, no, I have a rental history. And I applied, and I got rejected because my rental history was wrong by a couple years on each apartment. And I tried to fix it, and none of them called me back. And, and, and the thing too is those apartments they're built for like beach getaways yeah you know so they're super small uh, and yeah like so overpriced right now right like, for example now I just saw the parts like a studio for like 1900 like Jesus dude 2000. You that know, was more than, it, dude. That it, was. It, it's, like, it's like a, it's like a midget home. Like, dude, that it, was more than I. You can't even like cook food in that thing, man. There, there ain't no kitchen. Dude, that like, was more. And, and then I'm like, dude, in New York, right now, you can get in Brooklyn, like a full one bedroom, like not like in you know fucking Hipsterville, you right. know, you know Lindbergh, but like you know more South Brooklyn, like you can still live there for like nineteen, eighteen hundred. Uh, like an actual apartment, like right. pre pre you know pre war, like fully built quality you know brass knob apartment like with that's like built well with high ceilings. I mean, I'm, I'm walking in these apartments in Florida, bro. It's like you walk into a, like uh, like, a, like a closet type ceiling. Like they're, they're, there's no ceiling on it. They're they're built so tight because they're built like for beach homes and like just getaways. So they're like, oh okay. These people are just going to be coming here for uh, for the you know cold winters and shit or whatever. Or just snowbird you know, season. It's stupid. So like that's a that's a kind of thing. Like they do not develop the state to really live. In. Like it, it like really kind of concept where it's yeah. like oh we're just we're it's just about tourism and making money off like you know internationals yeah. and getting people in like Orlando like Orlando if you don't have kids. Like, it's a fucking dump, dude. Like, there ain't shit to do there. And, and, and the vibe there is, like, dark. It's like, you dude, know, dark, I, man. Uh, I, I was like, yo, get the fuck out of this dump, man. Dude, it's just uh, like, I've never been to Orlando besides Disney World, but I have not heard good stories about it. I heard, like, cops coming to a school and arresting a black child for not doing what the teacher told them. And there was yeah. so much protest about that on the internet. And, and, and it's funny because you have this, you have like the Disney area, you have yeah. like the downtown area, and then all over surrounding that is just straight ghetto. Oh yeah, I believe straight it. Ghetto. Dude, I remember that, dude, that apartment you're talking about, my apartment in Miami in 2021, the size of a one-car garage, 380 square feet, was 1425 in 2021. And I was having a hard time paying that because I didn't have the income as the economy is mostly tourism. Like, the neighbors I had were really weird. Like, a lot of the people in Florida are really weird. Apparently... Yeah, 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 like, I don't know what... I don't know what it is, but... And I was just like, guys, yeah, it's like people got this weird look. Yep. Just like this weird, long, extended look. And it's not, I think, just from, it's just it's just in general. Like, it's yep. just like the way they, 
that you could go about. Like they just like have this long extended stare and it's like a lifeless stare. Yep. And I'm like, man, I, I, it, 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 it shouldn't happen here. Like these people got to like really wake up and kind of realize there's other things, man. So I was like, yeah, you know what, man? Like I, I don't think floor like they're, I don't think Florida was really developed to be like a real kind of, you know, livable. You know? Uh, actually, it was. It was actually it was not. It was actually designed to be a military resident, as the as the Navy stations and shit. But it was mostly designed for retirements and tourism. There was actually an article about that back in twenty eleven. The guy goes on to say that the heat drives people crazy and that their economy relies on tourism and that it wasn't made to be a residential area. It's kind of like the state of Maine. Like, you have to have a purpose to be there, like working on ships or fishing for lobster. Other than that, you have a tough time living there. Yeah, so that's that's kind of that. And... So, I mean, that's like, you know, just, just the way it is, and yeah. nothing bad with coming here, like, you know, oh, yeah, I've not- some great people. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with going there for a vacation, but yeah. if you live there, it kind of sucks. Yeah. Just, 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 you know, I didn't have a bad time, I had a pretty decent time, but like, I'm at the point now where I'm just like, okay, this is fucking boring. This yeah. Is just, this is just like so repetitive, and, and, and what's even more stupid, like, you know, like, you know, the uh, Tampa, like that drive from downtown to the beach, is so sad. Like, I mean, like, it, like it's not even like really fully ghetto. It's just like shit. I have shit. heard. It's I like have pure heard. Shit. Like, like, you're just driving and you see these stores that, like, I don't even know how they exist. Like, it looks like they like nobody's even entered it since like the seventies or eighties. Like, they still have the same sign and and it's like the dumbest like random shit and people like like you don't see any people on the street like you you, you don't see people on the street well yeah I mean, that's kind of another thing about florida like well yeah that's like, the beach like when you go to like clearwater or like those beaches and you go to the boardwalk you know you see people walking well yeah so, that's because when no- you're out you don't see fucking people on the street like like there's there's no people on the street. Like people are just driving around, and they they you know they, they take their car to the beach or downtown, and then they walk around downtown. And besides that, there ain't nobody even out on the street. There's nothing happening. Like well, that's it's, pro- it's weird. I think that's because everything is so spread out that nothing is walkable. Oh, is why right, right, right. And, and, and so you're like taking these drives like for. 45 minutes an hour yeah like you don't see one person like that's how that's how it was in ocala when i did deliveries like the nearest establishment would be like 20 minutes away because when i did i did like that's like another thing i like about new york is like when you're in new york you just see people all the time Oh yeah, and and, and 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 like you know, keeps you going. You know, you see, you might see somebody you know, you might see somebody you know. Uh, oh, definitely, that, definitely. You know, you've seen before, and you're saying, hey, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, a like a like a more. You, 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 this might be crazy to say, but it's more of a community feel. Even though there's so many people, oh, definitely, it still feels like you're always part of something, right? Oh yeah, dude, that's. That's how it was in Maine. That's how it was in Boston. That's how it is here in Cincinnati. Even in San Francisco before I left. Yeah, but Florida doesn't have that. Florida's like kind of like when, when people do walk around, it's really tourists and internationals and retired guys with their mouths open just that's staring where, at you. Like that's just a, boop, boop, that, boop, Like this kind of dumb look. Yep. Like expecting something. But like they don't say shit. Like. You know, some guys are cool. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even lying. Like, some, some dudes, like, they're like, hey, what's up, man? I'm, you know, we do a little small talk. It's, yep. like, it's cool, but that's, that's like, like maybe 3%, you know? Right. It's, it's, not, it's not a lot of, you know, people like that. It's like, it's like they, they, they retire. They're like, oh, but, 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 derp. Just, just, just like nothing happening here. And you walk it around in circles, like, that doing really shit. It's, it's, it's sad, but... Like, you, you know, they don't want to develop. Like, say, Miami, you know, Miami has serious issues with 
traffic and congestion. Oh god, don't even get me and started. Then, oh, yeah. and, and, and here's the funny thing about that. They can fix it. Dude, they can easily fix it. Like, the driving you know, Miami has a subway system, right? Uh, and we don't put any money into it at all. They don't develop it. Dude, the driving in Miami totally sucks. It's I awful. remember on the west side of it, before you reach the Everglades where I lived, the light to turn left, dude, the light to turn left, the signal was only green for like three seconds with the long half a mile of traffic. Four seconds. Yeah, that's like another thing. Oh, the God. Just, like, dude, you're sitting just in fucking traffic. Like, oh, they, God. They, they don't, like, advanced technology to where you're... The traffic is flowing. Yep. It, 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 they, don't, they don't put any money into the state. Well, like, one of the reasons... They, they, they don't advance shit. Well, so, one of the reasons they don't... Time, I'm seeing lights. I'm seeing one light green. Next light is already red. Like, next light above that is green. Like, green, green. I'm, I'm like, bro, bro, I'm like, fuck this shit, man. Like, I'm not, like, I'm sick of sitting in traffic, dude. Like, it's stupid, bro. Like, they, they, they like, fucking DeSanctus, you know, all, all the shit he talks... He he can't fucking even like get people moving like like in, in, throughout the the state like there is no flow there is no like you know flow like we need more bridges we need more roads we need more stuff he you know as far as like he has like all these crazy policies it's like bro like really your state has serious fucking issues dude like serious issues and you can start pouring some money into that and, and getting people like ability to live their life normally without sitting in traffic every fucking day all times of the day dude the re apparently the reason they don't have underground subways in florida is because of all the sand and sinkholes but what about the surface of it they should have subways in the surface like monorails like downtown has right or just yeah like above ground stuff like yeah because you know? downtown miami or the outskirts of it, they have a monorail that's free, but they don't extend it to like the suburbs where the business people live. So that's why they have all that traffic congestion is because there's no mm -hmm. pu there's really mm -hmm. no. Like, and it's like a, a another thing that I've learned to appreciate in New York is like you can skip all that traffic, bro. You just get on the subway, right? Put on your headphones, read a book, go on your laptop, and yep. fifteen. 15, 20 minutes, you're at the end. Dude, Not I've noticed. Time. Obviously, it's got its problems, it's got its issues, but the one, the I one? prefer, I think, more than, like, having to drive where you're sitting in traffic. Wasting gas. You got, like, some motherfucker blasting some shit music behind you. You yep. got, like, a person in front of you breaking like a motherfucker. That's yep. Like, okay, that's another thing about Florida. People can't drive for shit here. Oh, dude. Well, Oh, um, don't get me started on the driving. It's all old people. Like, it's all fucking, dude. They're, they're, like, they're, like, they don't even, like, see the road. I'm just like, right. what, what is going on here? Like, nobody knows how to drive. Dude, I remember when I was in New York on the subways, nobody gives a shit. Nobody looks at you. Nobody acknowledges you. They just don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I noticed they, they, that. They, okay, and that's a good thing. Like, you know, they, they, they say uh, the, the best thing about New York is nobody gives a shit. They don't. The worst thing about New York is nobody gives a shit. Right. So, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Like, some guy will be getting stabbed yep. on the subway, and, and the dude just be reading a newspaper just being like, oh, okay, that's not my business. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like New York. Yeah, like, um, you know... That happened like you know some girl got like fucked on a subway car with like half a sub like that it was full like people were just watching her get fucked it's like okay whatever you know nothing happens it's just it's just like another day and, but you know like you kind of like you kind of hate it when you're there but then i'm like sitting in traffic and i'm like i have to deal with this traffic like i have to get around that's people what, and I have to, like you know move forward that's what i mean by pick your poison dude Pick your poison. Right. And the toughest poison to pick now is because the whole country is essentially poison. So, you know, like, you know, saying that, uh, that 
end of it, like the end of the stick, because I, I feel like things are going to change. You know? Dude, it's already getting there, dude. On social media with all those stupid pictures of San Francisco, there's people commenting saying, congratulations, vote Democrat. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what, like, everyone, like, all the time there's some crazy shit happens in New York, and I, I get it on my phone on a feed, it's like, so people are just like, yep, yeah, you voted Democrat. I don't, I don't even think anybody fucking elected that motherfucker, man. You know, criminal Adams? Dude, like, same. Have you seen that guy? It's like, the same like, with... Criminal Adams, like we used to call him, because, like, he looks like a... Cri- he looks like a cri- He looks like a thug, man. Like, have you seen like, the, those he, videos? He, there's have no you... way that motherfucker got in. Like, he, he's got connections. He, You know, they put him in that, that deep state, you know, put, put him in there, and he's, like, sitting there destroying that city because... They know that New York is such is, is such a powerful city because it's the most diverse city in the world. You know, Queens. You know, Queens, New York is uh, technically the most diverse place on the planet. It's got the people from the most countries. I and believe it. It's really like the world. So they're destroying it, man. Dude. You know? Everything I hear about New York and it being the most iconic city in the world, like Home Alone 2 and shit, but then I go there and I'm like, dude, what the hell is this place? It's the most random place. Like, the funniest thing about it is that it's nothing like the movies, the pictures.